Here's another next one. Uh, multiple fuck buddies gone wrong. You know what, dude? Just the fact that you had multiple fuck buddies, uh, it's it's still a win. You know what I mean? It's still a win. You made the playoffs. Um, hey, Billy Boy, first time, long time. I got. To, I'm gonna go to get right into it. All right. Last weekend, I got a text from a former fuck buddy who found out that I had slept with their friend before we started hooking up. Oh, you know what? Go fuck yourself. All right, you're crushing ass all over the place. You don't need my advice. I probably need advice from you. That's only that's a secret goal of of a certain percentage of guys is like, what if I can fuck her and all of her friends before they all figure it out? You know what I mean? It's sort of like an action movie with your dick. And <laughs> Can I stick it in all of them before the bomb goes off? And uh, and can I get out of town like fucking De Niro and Heat before when I see all of them coming up with the how dare you? Haven't you ever fantasized about doing that and you were so good that as mad as they were, they all reminisced about how great you were and then all four of them come over and be like, ah, we're all fucky at the same time. If you haven't had that fantasy... God bless you, because you're evidently a way more decent a human being than I am. So anyways, with that, here we go. Um, he goes, she sends me... Anyway, let, let me just refresh your memory here. Last weekend, I got a text from a former fuck buddy who found out that I had slept with her friend before we started hooking up. She sends me a pretty heated two-page text about how much of a dog and douchebag I am for sleeping with her friend, then fucking her the same weekend. Yeah, dude. Dude, you're a legend. You're a fucking legend. What is the... Dude, all you can do is just stand there with your hand at your sides, take the slap to the face, and just know that, yeah, you're a hero. Dude, you banged her friend and and her in the same weekend, and you're, you're, you you don't front a, ro a successful band? I mean, that's... that's you know, I, my, hats off to you, sir. Hats off to you. Anyways, he goes, now in reality, I had slept with the friend in late May and then starting hook, hooking up with the fuck buddy in early September. Oh, okay, so she tried to make it more dramatic. That's still great, dude. You, you, you seamlessly made the shift over the summer. You're still a hero. Um, anyways, he goes, to go into a little more detail, the fuck buddy had gone on several dates and fucked once three oh i had gone on several dates with her and fucked once three years prior when we were both at college but then shortly after she lost interest and we remained as friends for the next few years when i say friends i mean the occasional text and seeing each other maybe three or four times all right so what is her fucking problem what is the rule shouldn't the, shouldn't the second one be mad at you because you fucked the other one first I don't, I'll never understand. I'll never understand. What, can any female, if you're still listening at this point, if I have any female listeners at this point, can you explain to me why that makes you mad? You know, because, I don't know, there was always like, there was always that girl that like, you know, when I was growing up, like, I can't say me because I wasn't getting anything. I didn't get anything in high school. Big fucking goose egg. I would my my pussy getting career in high school. I was like the first year the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came in the league and went winless. <laughs> what was the name of their Gary Huff? Was that the name of their quarterback? I was the Gary Huff of of pussy in in, in high school. Whatever the hell is that? Can't even remember the name. His last name was Huff. It was the name of their quarterback with cream sickle fucking uniform. I might as well had a suit made out of that when I was in high school. Um, I, but anyways, there, there were there were those girls that like my drinking buddy crew, like three or four of them out of the five had all hooked up with her, and none of them were none of nobody was mad. Everybody high five. That's fucking great. That's you know we thought it was a great thing. I don't understand. Why they get so mad? You know what it is? Is I, I just think that they want to. Uh, it's a big thing with them that it, that it has to be difficult. And you know, 
And if, if they, I think they just feel like if you bang them and their friend, they just somehow feel like maybe it makes them feel cheaper. That there's just, you're just fucking hitting. It's like you're a machine gun. You're just mowing them down. I think that they really want to believe that they're the only one in that area code. You know, that they're like, uh, that it's like gold rather than like pine cones. <laughs> you got to dig for it. It's a precious metal. They don't, they, they don't want to feel like that they're just like litter in the gutter. Maybe that's what I have no, I have no idea. But I have learned something in this. Fuck buddy is two words. This guy put fuck buddy together. Um, that's how much he's into sex right now. He's, got, he's literally like the fuck is, is got the buddy part bent over. And it's all one word. They are one. Um, so anyways, he said to go into a little more detail. Oh, I already read that part. He said, so fast forward three years and the friend of hers, that's the future fuck buddy, said that we should hang out after the Sox game. All right, I'm getting lost in this with all my rambling. You know what the fuck? So you hooked up with a former fuck buddy. And so now, okay, so this is when, when, when number two comes in before you went back to number one. All right, so fast forward three years later. Yeah, so she didn't give a fuck. So who she should be mad at is the second one. No, but it's been three years. You know, I really don't think anybody has a right to be mad here. All right, whatever. We should hang out after a Sox game. Of course, I see this as a green light, because whenever a girl that you really don't know says we should hang out is codes for I'm down to fuck. Exactly. Did you hear that uh, guy with the fucking bassoon? You got they, they speak in code. We should hang out sometime. That That's literally, that's what that means. If they say, would you ever think of taking me out? That means they want a relationship. We should hang out sometime. That's what that means. Okay? And I'm not saying 100%. I'm just saying. It's, it's looking good. You're getting waved around by the third base coach. Um, anyways. Where the hell am I? Oh, for fuck's sakes. I, I apologize, guys. When a girl says that, you're down to fuck. So, oh, so anyway. So we end up fucking. And she gets on a plane the next day to study abroad in Europe for the summer. Exactly. She wanted some shoving off dick. You know? Let me get a little last piece of America before I go over to Europe. Tremendous. Anyways, fast forward three months later, and the fuck buddy, all one word, says that I should come over some weekend to hang out. Green light. We bang, it's great, and we continue to do it until the end of the month when I fly back to the place that I now live. So a few days ago, I get the heated text saying I'm a dog, I'm a douchebag, and she thought I was a friend, etc. I say that there's nothing I can do or say to change what happened, and the only thing that I can say is I'm sorry if I hurt her and that I am an asshole. But my question to you, uh, Mr. No Relationship Psychology Degree Comedian, is am I a dog for what I did? No, you're not. You're not. And fuck these women who call you up and use you like a fuck stick. All right? They called you up because they wanted some dick, and you gave it to them. All right? You gave them what the fuck they asked for, and then she's going to turn around and get mad at you? And then you apologize and say, yeah, I'm an asshole? You're not an asshole. But you know something? I don't think you think you're an asshole because you're out there crushing it. You're just fucking saying what you know this girl wants to hear because probably six months from now she's going to fuck you again. Right? You're not an asshole. You didn't hit on the other girl. She said, hey, we should hang out sometime. Okay, she's giving you the green light. You know what I mean? You're a guy. You have to take that. You got to take it. Women don't understand that because they can get laid every night of the fucking week if they want to. They don't have to have any game. And they, it, for us, it's, it's, it's work. It's a skill. Okay, so when somebody, when it's, it's, it's like you're in the wild. You got a free fucking meal. You're going to take it. You know, I learned that in Australia when I was looking at those poisonous snakes. And they're like, why does that thing have enough venom to kill 200 mice? Why does it need that much venom? It's because it's out there in the fucking, the outback. And out in the outback, food is scarce. So if you get a shot at something, you got to fucking take it down. And that's what the hell you did. Yeah, I'm a fucking dog. You know, it's like, you know what, fuck you, lady. 
I'm a dog, then, then you're a whore. If I'm a dog, you're a fucking whore. Did I call you up? Did I come around sniffing up your skirt? No, you called me because you wanted some dick, and I gave it to you. How about a fucking thank you letter? Dude, you really should have come at her like that. You really should have. And I got to tell you something. On some fucked up level, she would actually respect you. As long as you didn't call, don't call her a whore. All right? But she fuck she, so what, what is her relationship with you? You guys barely talk. And like whenever she's in a, a dick dry spell, she fucking goes over to you like your Hertz rental car and just fucking just rides your dick. And then you're supposed to be exclusive and not bang her friend who's cut from the same cloth. Who wants to get plowed before she goes over to Europe? This is your fucking fault? You're the one who should feel used. You know? Neither one of them wants a meaningful relationship with you. Uh, you know what? This is what I say. Just don't even write them back. And you know something? Fuck them again. Just bang them again. Who gives a fuck? Next time you see her, she wants to give you a dirty look. Just like... I, I don't even react to it. What, 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 a, what a fucking, what a bunch of bullshit. And I got, I can't believe that, like, you, we don't have a relationship. I'm just going to keep saying the same thing fucking over and over again. Like, why don't I, I'm just, look at me, I'm stuttering here. Do you know, the other day I was watching, uh, I was watching the Texans when the Patriots played the Texans Monday Night Football, right? And, uh, some lady at the at the at the was watching with us and she started giving Bob Kraft shit for having like a, a 35 year old girlfriend. And for those of you who don't watch football, Bob Kraft was married forever, had a family and his uh, wife, unfortunately, uh, died of cancer. You know. So she dies of cancer. You know, he stuck by her side, did the whole damn thing, and then now he's got a new girlfriend, and she's 35, and women are mad. They're upset about it. They're upset by it, and I, I don't, uh, I don't get it. You know, if I die of a disease, I, I, I don't want fucking Nia to be sitting here like some spinster. Go out, go have a good time. I'm dead. I don't give a fuck. You know. Lest I'm a ghost and I'm sitting there watching it, then I wouldn't like it. <laughs> but I would just fly away. Why would I sit there watching it? You know? Start haunting them every time they were going to have sex? I wouldn't do that to somebody. I just don't understand why, like, um, it's not like he went out and got with, like, a 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 year old girl. She's 35. 35. At 35, if women aren't married, they're freaking out. Right? They look. I, I, you know what I love? I just love that they get mad at the guy. And it's like, what about the girl? Why is she with them? Okay? If he's some sort of like, you know, oh, he's just there because he wants a hot girlfriend, then what about her? She's just there for the money. So then it, it works out. Doesn't it? I don't know. Did, did, when, whenever like shit like that goes on, that really taps into the cynical part of me. Which, you know, if you listen to this podcast, God knows it doesn't take much. But um, sometimes I just I just think that it almost taps into that fuck buddy thing. They just don't want to know how easily that they could be replaced. Yet they want you to feel they don't give a fuck if they if they try and make you feel that way. All those stupid songs, Beyonce, that that to the left, to the left. You know, that whole song is like, yeah, just take your shit, get the fuck out of here. I'll have another guy in two seconds. You're, you're that easily replaced, you know, and they they love those songs. Those songs are they consider them fucking empowering. But then when they see a successful guy with a, you know, a nice closet full of shiny ties and his own sports team, when they see that he can still fucking pull down some 35 year old ass. They get mad. They start judging his character. Even me and my mom, we had that discussion. Well, I just don't think that that's, I just. I'm sure that there was somebody in their 50s that he could have. Who the fuck wants to get with a 50-year-old? Even if you're 70. 
You know? I don't fuck. You know what I mean? You, you know, you're starting over again. If you got a fucking old car and you trade it in, you don't trade it in on a fucking another old car. You get a new one. You know? You fucking ride that thing into the ground and then you get another one. I don't know. I'm just saying I don't have a fucking problem with what the guy's doing. 